My name is Mick Enshaw. My family is from the Torres Strait Islands. So our, our family comes from the Murray and Darnley Islands up there in the north. And that's on my dad's side. And on my mum's side, she's from New Zealand. So her, her iwi is the Ngāti Whātua from the North Island. I enlisted in the Royal Australian Air Force in 1986. At that stage, I was a young father married with one child. And um, the main reason I joined was for job security. I, I wanted to have that security for a young, young family and I wanted the ability to travel around Australia. My family also has a rich history um, in the services. My dad, John Bungie Enchong, did 20 years in the Royal Army. Um, I've got an older brother, who, John Enchong, who did 20 years in the Army as well. I did 34 years in the Royal Australian Air Force. Um, I have a son, Jason, who's a current serving Army member. My daughter, Tara, she's um, a current serving member in the Royal Australian Air Force. And my daughter-in-law, Kayla, is a current serving Air Force member. My nephew, John Matthew, he completed four years in the Navy. So collectively, our family has over 100 years of service in the ADF and we've covered three services to date. So when, when I joined the Royal Australian Air Force, it was mainly just for that job security. However, as I went up in my career, it was a burning desire to deploy. Deployment is like the grand final, so you do all this preparation for your grand final, and that's on operations overseas. My first deployment was as a peacekeeper over to the Solomon Islands. Before the ADF got there, there was some pretty ghastly things that happened over in the Solomon Islands. It was actually a really warm feeling to, uh, to understand that the people of the Solomon Islands really appreciated us being in that operational space. Part of my unit's role, we, we did a, a fair bit of community engagement. So we, we actually went out, our unit went out and teamed up with a um, school. It had a a classroom at the top of the hill and a classroom down the bottom of the hill. Now, to get between the two classrooms, they actually had to cross a, a gully, which was 12 to 15 foot across. Going across that was a piece of 4B2, and that was all they used to get across from one classroom down, down to the next. We, as a, as a task group, had a lot of engineers um, and tradies, so we had GSE fits, carpenters and electricians. We actually went, went to that school and, and built a, a bridge across that gully so that the kids could get to one, one classroom to the other safely and um, without having to fall in this gully. We did that out, out of our own times after hours, help, help build that bridge. It is very important for Australia to build those relationships with, with our close countries around us. Afghanistan is really a pretty, pretty country. Aside from, you, you know, people w w wanting to do bad things at you, like when, when I flew into Tarankot, Kandahar and things like that, I actually ha had the opportunity to go up in a Herc and if you've ever been in a Herc, that, they've got a panoramic views. I flew into Tarankot. Once you cross the, the border, you actually had to put body armour on because previously there, there had been you know, shots taken at, at the Hercules as, as we went, went into theatre. When I went to Tarankot, I didn't know my son was at that base. I thought he'd move forward to a patrol base. And then um, I was actually in this shop from my son's point of view is, he came up to the shop and he, he clearly, he said to me, uh, geez, that all, that bloke look, looks, you know, like Dad. And then he, he walked around the side and then um, we have patches, unit patches, and he goes, oh, he's even got a, um, a unit patch like the, the old man. And then he came around and it was actually me. So we actually met accidentally at Tarrancott. It was a, quite a surreal moment. I deployed to the Mio in November 2011. On that same aircraft, um, I had my daughter. She deployed with me. She was part, my daughter Tara. She was part of the um, 
Heron detachment that was based at Kandahar. So her and I flew out at the same time. In January 2012, my son Jason, he deployed to Al Minhad and I was able to catch up with Jason and Tara prior to them moving back into Afghanistan. So that was the highlight of my career that, that I deployed with uh, my son and daughter in operational support to support actual uh, warfighter at the sharp end of um, operations. I'm extremely proud of the service our, you know, previous Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander men and women have provided to, to the ADF. It's building on the, that legacy that the original ANZACs forged. As an example, my, my dad served in the Second World War, providing material support as mer in the Merchant Navy. Now, he, he was not recognised in Australia as a citizen of, of, the, um, of this nation. He also served in Korea where, again, he was not um, recognised as a citizen of Australia. So I will say I always build on the shoulders of giants that came before us. You know, and that's not only my dad, it's the other men and women who served in uniform when they were not even citizens of Australia and had to lie about their ethnicity and even to get in. So we build on the shoulders of giants. <laughs>